Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate a quick and easy way to convert documents to PDF, create a link for that PDF, and then share the PDF link via email. Before we get started, it would be great if you could like the video and subscribe to our channel. To get started, let's click Create. And then let's select the Instant Cloud Flow option. We're going to create a manually triggered flow for this scenario. Let's now open up our flow trigger box. In here, let's add a file content input so we can grab files directly from our folder system when we run our flow. Next, let's add an email input so we can specify who we're sending this to. And then let's add a text input so we can name our new PDF when we run our flow. Now we can convert our input document to PDF. Let's add a new action. And then let's type Cloudmersive into the search bar. Let's scroll down until we find the Cloudmersive document conversion connector. And let's click See More to view the actions list. Near the top of this list, we'll find an action called Convert Document to PDF. We have other options for converting documents to PDF, but we're going to select this action because it can auto-detect and convert all major Office file formats, over 100 image formats, and even HTML file inputs in our flow. Please note, if we haven't used a Cloudmersive action before, we'll need to create our connection with a free Cloudmersive API key. That will allow us to make up to 800 API calls per month with zero commitments, and we can get one of these by registering a free account on the Cloudmersive website. We can now use dynamic content labeled file content bytes from our trigger step to fill our first request field. And next we can use dynamic content labeled file content name to fill our second request field. Now we're all done with our PDF conversion. Next up, we're going to use a OneDrive action to create our file, and then we're going to use another OneDrive action to create a sharing link for our file. We can use equivalent SharePoint actions if we prefer that instead. Let's go ahead and add a new action, and then let's search for our Create File action. After we save our file in a folder, we can name our file using the file name input we created in our trigger step. And then we can go ahead and select dynamic content labeled output content to get the PDF file bytes to create our file. Now let's add another new action. And then let's search for the create share link action. We can use dynamic content labeled ID from our create file step to generate our link. And we should select view from the link type dropdown. If we want, we can also set an advanced parameter to change our link scope from anonymous to organization, but I'll be leaving this as it is. We can now add in our final action. And this is where we'll structure our email containing the link to our PDF. I'll be using an Outlook action called Send an Email V2 to demonstrate this part, but keep in mind there are other email connectors we can use if we want to instead. In the Outlook action, we can enter a custom value for our outbound email address and include the email input we created in our manual trigger step. 
After that, we can subject our email. And in the email body, we can get the web URL we created as dynamic content. We can enter our message here if we want to, but I'm gonna leave this blank for now. Now we can save our flow. And when it's ready to run, we can enter our manual trigger inputs and give it a run. That's all there is to it. This will send our new PDF to our target recipient and they'll have full access to our newly created PDF document. Thanks for watching. Please like the video and subscribe to our channel. If you have any questions about Cloudversive APIs, I've included a link in the video description to contact our sales team.